243 primary and secondary schools as well as 73 early childhood care and education centers were repaired over the July-August school break. The ministry confirmed in a release over the holiday weekend that the Educational Facilities Company Limited had completed repairs on numerous schools across the country. However, the group confirmed that the following primary schools and ECCE centers should be ready in the next fortnight. And they are Rose Hill RC, Manzanala Government Primary School, Lower Kumuto, Kanhai Presbyterian, Egypt Village Union Presbyterian, and the ECC centers are Quarry Village, Salazar Trace, Mendez Separia, Arima New, Aruka Pine Haven, Bamboo, Barataria, Brothers Road, Corinth Hills, Kunupia, St. Ambrose Jacobs Hill, Malabar, Phase 4, Maloney Gardens, and Pleasantville. But President of the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association, Devanand Sinanan, says the Ministry of Education must rethink its approach to the renovation of schools. Speaking on Good Morning Trinidad and Tobago on CTV Today, the tutor head said the July-August vacation break isn't enough time to do proper repairs on schools across the country. Peter Christopher has more. With the new term beginning on Tuesday, the tutor president is once again lamenting that several schools will have a longer wait for their first day. He says the ministry has to look at a new way of renovating schools over the course of an academic year, as opposed to solely during the July-August vacation break. There's only so much you can do yeah, in that two-hour, two um, yeah, that, that, uh, that two-month period. Mm -hmm. And um, that's why we need to look at the formula again. That's why Tutor has been repeatedly saying, let's sit down and let us figure out how we can really have a program of preventative maintenance, maintenance that can take place throughout the, the academic year rather than just that downtime. The tutor president explains that over 300 schools were shortlisted for repairs to be done under the Educational Facilities Company Limited Vacation Repair Program. He says the number of schools which eventually received assistance totaled 243. This, he says, perpetuates a perennial problem as many schools are once again not open for the new school year. This year, again, we seem to have that situation occurring and we have a number of schools. I think about six primary schools will not be ready and this is the acknowledgement of the Ministry of Education, mm -hmm. uh, Rose Hill RC, Lower Kumuto Government, Kanahai Press, Egypt Government, Union Press, Manzanilla Government. I think there are about 14 ECC centers that will also not be ready for opening um, on Tuesday. He says in addition to the schools not being open for classes tomorrow, several teachers have complained about the state of the schools that will reopen on Tuesday. And then there are other schools like um, Arima Central Secondary where there's a serious overcrowding problem and they've been clamoring and making a lot of noise about that. Sandy Grandi RC, Plum Road Press, Nepal Press, I think Thursday when the, the teachers went there, the schools, they, they, they couldn't stay. The tutor president admits that many of the problems stem from the numerous age structures which house schools across the country, but he believes a more proactive approach is needed. He suggests that the ministry consider a method of preventative maintenance. Peter Christopher, C News.